Hi, these are three ways to play uh, arpeggios and to practice them and learn them on the neck. And to get real uh, up close and personal, we're going to be looking at the four different seventh chord arpeggios. That's major seventh. Dominant seventh. Minor seventh. Sorry. And minor seven flat five. Okay, so there's four different kinds, and both of those, uh, all four of those chords are common to um, major scale and minor scale, natural minor scale. So there's five patterns. There's the cage system of the C chord shape. And if I move that up three frets, it's the same shape, right? So that's the C chord shape of the key of E flat. So that's pattern one. Pattern two is the A shape for caged. Remember, C, A, G, E, D. So it's C, A, G, E, and D. So if you run those up the, up the neck, C, the A shape of C, the G shape of C, the E shape of C, and the D shape of C. So you should know those in every key all over the neck, all 15 keys uh, in the cycle of fifths or the cycle of fourths. So your enharmonics are G flat, F sharp, uh, C flat or B, and C sharp or D flat. So I know I, there's 12 keys, right? Or 12 different tones, but there's those N harmonics. And, you know, sometimes someone's going to write in C sharp and someone's going to write in D flat. And you got to be able to decipher it. So the first way is within each pattern, play the seventh chords. That's the one chord in the key of C pattern two. The two chord is D minor. Three chord is E minor. And you know, you can put that open E note in there if you want. And then F major. G7. A minor 7. Seven flat five. Back to C. Okay, so that's everything in pattern two. Then be able to do the same thing in pattern three. And stay in pattern three. five patterns. You should be able to do that. Then within each pattern, like say pattern two, I play the C major seven, the C seven, the C minor seven, C minor seven flat five. The actual one for pattern two would be this. Because C minor seven flat five belongs in the key of D flat. So I'd play D flat like this and put that G flat there. Instead of here. But, you know, have a way to play all four seventh chord arpeggios in all patterns. Okay, that's the second one. First one is within each structure, all the diatonic scales in every key. All of the 
in, in each pattern, all four different shapes, starting on the root in that key, in every key, in all five patterns. And then the next one is to take every key and be able to play the arpeggio across the neck in all five patterns. So one example would be to, I'm back in the key of C again, and I just show stuff in C. I can do it in every key, and you should be able to too. That's what life is about, is being able to play in every key. So C major seven in pattern two, go up, come down in pattern three, go up in pattern four, come down in pattern five, go up in pattern one, then I, if I started in pattern two, I come down in pattern two, and then up in pattern one, down five, up four, down three, and up in pattern two. Same thing for dominant seventh. I'll do a different key. I'll start in A with pattern three. Oops. Come down pattern four. Go up pattern five. Come down pattern one. Up pattern two. Down pattern th three. Oops. Then I can come up pattern two, down pattern one, up pattern five, down pattern four, up pattern three, and down pattern three. Okay, here's in G, I'll go up G minor. Start in pattern four. Coming down pattern five. Up pattern one of G minor. Down pattern two of G minor. Up pattern three of G minor. Down pattern four of G minor. I've, so I've completed the cycle. Now I go back down the neck. Going up, up pattern three. Down pattern two. Pattern five, down pattern one. Let's see. No, oh, two up one, down five. Sorry. And then up pattern four to stop. Then minor seven flat five. Uh, I'll do it in uh, F sharp or F minor seven flat five, starting with pattern four. one I'm weakest in, of course. So that's the three ways. In all keys, in all patterns. That's a lot to chew on, <laughs> I know. But uh, you'll be really happy when you get there. So once again, within each scale pattern, I started with uh, pattern two, so I'll do pattern four. pattern do this the four seventh chords I'll do the key of a in pattern one dominant minor and minor seven 
and flat five. And then uh, up and down the neck in, uh, let's see, let's pick something weird. I'll do F sharp dominant. different ways um, all the chords up and down the neck all the seventh chord within one pattern then the next pattern then the next pattern and then all of the seventh chord within each pattern in all keys <laughs> 